Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we are breaking all the rules with the Hopium. We have our announcement, our Hopium announcement for Cardano. We're targeting 12th of September 2021 for the Alonzo upgrade, bringing smart contracts to Cardano via a hard fork combinator. So this was posted just 13 hours ago at the time of this recording. Now, You've probably seen it and heard it all before. We've been waiting for this. 12th of September, we are just four weeks away from smart contracts on Cardano. Now, before we jump headfirst into the hopium of Cardano today, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to stake your Cardano to earn your passive income, there's a link to the Investor Accelerator Staking Pool. Instructional video is down there so you can delegate your ADA from your wallets to the Investor Accelerator staking pool. Earn yourself some passive income on that ADA. Cardano at fourth place, it overtakes Tether and uh, for a split moment there, it had overtaken Binance as well. 67 billion, $2.11. So if we are to get close to Ethereum's market cap, say we go into the second stage of the bull market, Ethereum is now at 3,300. We need about a six times of the market cap of Cardano. So six times tw two, is of course 12. Can we get to 12 bucks this market cycle to get somewhere around maybe a touch over Ethereum's current market cap? You know, somewhere around that eight to 10 bucks seems to be a good consensus among a lot of Cardano enthusiasts online. What do you think in the comments down below? By the end of this market cycle, what do you think Cardano could get to? What will it peak out at for a period of time? Now onto the charts and we are updating Cardano Bitcoin. We have a day and a half to go until the weekly close comes in. The good thing, the good news is we are above these current highs. So that was the swing top that we needed to break through in order to confirm or begin to confirm the next swing because we want to start to get into an upswing pattern. We need higher highs and higher lows. That's what it looks like. So, so far we have lower highs and lower lows. This week has broken the previous swing top. And so now we want to see a correction and then a higher low form before we can start to take off again. The troubling area is this 50% zone at around 4,600 Satoshis. You can see this is the major 50% from the all-time high to the current major bear market low. So that is the big target to break through. You can see that the market was held up already twice uh, and that was through May. We tried it once, fell underneath, tried it again, and then we got rejected at the 50%. So these are big levels that we need to break through. You can see from the Cardano BTC chart that it did dip its toes into our first zone. And my zone three, if ADA BTC ever drops below there, that's, that's basically my sell the house zone, throw it all on Cardano at that point. Let's move on and look at ADA ETH. So ADA ETH is also breaking through its 50% zones. As we can see with ADA BTC, it has held well and truly above the 50%. So this is from the major low to the uh, the bull market top so far. And then ADA ETH, here's the bull market top. Again, see what happens at 50%. It got not, uh, rejected at the 50%. So close, well, it's around 95,000 guay. So this is the Cardano ETH. 50% are really important levels. Now it has bounced back above two major 50% zones. So we have the first, this is the current run down. It's broken back above that 50. And then the bear market low to the current major top back above that level. And they both come out pretty dead on at around 60,000 guay. So we got another, like I said, day and a half, almost two days left until the weekly close. We want to see this ADA ETH also close above that 60,000 guay. And just as a reminder, ADA BTC, we want to see it close above these highs here at around 4,100 Satoshis. Now, if it doesn't, of course, we just need to see where that next low comes in. The idea is we want to get a higher low. That just means that buyers are then supporting the price at a higher price, and that's bullish. So ADA ETH, again, above that level, we're getting higher lows, and that's a bullish sign as well. If we can get above these levels on the close, even stronger, and that's what we'll be looking for. Now for the big one that everyone's looking at, we are looking at ADA USD. We were looking at the resistance levels of $1.50 because that was that has been in play throughout February, March, April. We burst above it for May and then came back underneath it. The bounce into June just got us above for a brief moment before we fell to a dollar again. And then we tried it again in early July. And so we've been grinding our way higher through early August, 
Finally, we get the bust through. Volume has increased on that bust through. We can't buck the trend yet. We do see volume coming in as we continue higher. And in the past, we have also seen volume come in as we get higher, but then generally we get a little bit of a correction at some point because the market can only push hard for so long. And then that's another buying opportunity that people have found. Again, the market was pushing higher on volume. You can see down here. And then we had that bit of correction. Now for ADA USD, the support levels are around that $1.80 level. This is previous highs. That was on the bounce. And then of course, the levels that we don't want to see it fall back into and get all chopped and churned is beneath that $1.50 level. That has been choppy and churny for the entire year. So if we can stay away from that, that would be ideal. And the correction to come somewhere in that zone of around $1.50 to $1.90. Or if we continue to push higher, even better, that just sets us up for another correction, maybe just above this previous level. And that looks even stronger. So that's what I'll be waiting for because the weekly is coming in in another day and a half or so. So this is looking pretty strong. Our trend is up. We've broken through the swing highs like we looked at a week and a bit ago. That was good, the $1.50. And then this is the big ones that I was waiting for, the $1.70 and the $1.90. Broken both of these targets. That's a good sign. Now, the biggest hopium play on the price chart is if we can get to our highest US dollar close, weekly close in ADA history. Currently, that is set at the 10th of May, which was the peak of the altcoin market, and that is set at $2.30. So we're not too far from that. Let's see what happens over the next couple of days. If we can get that close, that's a pretty strong signal that the market really wants to push higher, and it's just having a little bit of time to decide, is 250 the high? Are we going to go back? But if we get that close up there, that then pushes us further into the positive for this whole play. As for the 50% levels, Cardano did a fantastic job holding above its 50%, its major 50% from the bear market low to the all-time high. That was around that dollar 26, so you know, in that dollar 20 to dollar 30, did pretty well throughout that bearish period. And now the other major 50%, which is from the all-time high to the correction crash, because it's happened after the all-time high, that 50% was a dollar 70. So that's why it was such a strong level that I was looking for, because it tried once before. If I throw it onto some colored candles, you guys can see that the close, we tried to peak above it and then the close just couldn't make it above the 50% and then we got rejected from that point. So the fact that we could break above it so far and hopefully we get the weekly close above this $1.70 level, that is going to be adding more strength to the bull side for Cardano USD. Now, if you want to be part of the Cardano ecosystem, like 70% of the ADA holders, they are staking their ADA. There's an investor accelerator staking pool, which you can find a link to down below. It's a full video that I've created. You can set up your wallets. If you already have a wallet set up, great. All you need to do now is delegate your ADA to the investor accelerator staking pool to earn your passive income on your ADA. The pool name is TIA, the investor accelerator, and anyone can delegate their ADA to that pool. We're currently at around 18 million, thanks to the Cardano Foundation as well, who have delegated a hell of a lot of ADA in there. So they're giving us really good boosts at the moment. Go and join the Investor Accelerator. Link is down below. So that's the big news for Cardano. It looks like we're going to get smart contracts by the 12th of September. Question for you guys. Do you think we're going to continue running up in the ADA price until smart contracts? Or do you think we've seen the peak of the price action because we now have a date? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you find some value from the content, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, then hit all so you can see the content as they come out on the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, daily crypto updates, and the Investor Accelerator if you want to get some more from your trading and investing. There's a link to that down below. Monthly Patreon is down there. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.